Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So today I will retell about the story Beauty and the Beast Once upon a time in a land far far away There lived a wealthy merchant and his three beautiful daughters The third one was far prettier and wiser than the others So everyone called her Beauty on the other hand, her sisters were jealous and mean. They were more interested in spending their father's money. Beauty used to dream about a handsome prince. She always thought that one day she will marry the prince and stay in a beautiful palace with him. Everything was happy in Beauty's life like her dreams. One day, her fate changed due to terrible storm. Her father lost all his ship and sold all his money. It's all over, dear. We are no longer wealthy. Don't worry, father. All will be fine soon. We will find a way out of it to you. You are my only wealth. I'm happy with you. Soon all the servants left the house because of merchant poverty. Beauty was running the house while the two sisters kept complaining about they were living in poverty. Beauty always prayed to God to bring back the happiness on his father's face. And one day, the merchant received the news that one of his ship was sailing into the harbor. I have good news. One of my ship has sailed into the harbor. We shall be no more poor. Right now, I have to leave for harbor. Tell me what shall I get for each of you? Asked the father. I want new dresses. I want new jewelry. And what I shall get for you, my lovely child? All I want is your safe return home, fathers. Oh, so sweet of you. But you must ask for Whatever you want, my child. I want the scarlet rose. Please get me just one. Of course, my sweet child. On this happy note, the merchant left for the harbor. As he reached the harbor, he saw that ship was completely isolated and found that all the crew ran off with the remaining cargo of the ship. Brokenhearted, the merchant started his journey toward home. Thus, in tow, the merchant wanders off the road and lost into a dense forest. The snow was falling like all the ocean water had turned to snow. The horse was, was not able to walk in this dense snow, so he let him rest under a tree. In the distance, he saw some bright lights and went toward it. It was a huge, beautiful palace. As he reached it, the gate made of shining gold swung open. It seemed very strange that no snow had fallen into the avenue of orange trees. He suddenly found a huge castle and went inside to find nobody. There was a huge table with delicious food and he ate it all. Then the merchant went into the bedroom and slept on the a soft and fluffy bed. The next day, he saw a beautiful rose growing in the lawn and remembered beauty's gift. He plucked a rose from the bush. Suddenly, a very serious looking bust sprang out of the bush. He was wearing fine silk clothes and roared, I gave you food and a bed to sleep in, and now you are stalling my roses. The merchant was frightened and told the best about beauty's life. The beast decided to let him go only if he promised to send beauties to this castle. The merchant agreed and ran back home. He cried and told his daughter about the beast. But Beauty loved her father and agreed to go stay with the beast. 
The beast treated Beauty with a lot of kindness. He was never rude to her. He let her stay in the biggest room and let her room in the beautiful garden. Beauty would sit near the fireplace and sew while the beast kept her company. At first, Beauty was afraid of the beast but slowly she began to like him. One day, the beast asked Beauty to marry him, but she refused. She was still afraid of his fearful looking face. The beast still treated her kindly and with a lot of love. Beauty missed her father a lot. The beast gave her a magic mirror and said, Look at the mirror and you can see your family. Now you won't feel alone anymore. One day, Beauty looked in the mirror and saw the father was very ill and dying. She went to the beast and pleaded and cried, Please let me go home. I only want to see my father before he dies. But the beast roared, No, you promised. You would never leave this castle. Saying this, he stormed out of the room. But after some time, he came to Beauty and said, You may go to stay with your father for seven days. But you must promise to return after that. Beauty was very happy and agreed. Then she left and went to stay with her father. Her father, on seeing Beautiful, felt very happy and soon recovered. Beauty stayed with her family for seven days and more. She forgot the beast and his castle. But one night, she had a terrible nightmare in which she, sh she saw the beast was very ill and about to die. He was crying, Beauty, please come back. Beauty woke up and went back to the castle because she didn't mean to hurt the beast. She cried and sighed, Please don't die, beast. I will live with you forever. The beast miraculously changed into a handsome prince. He said, I was under a curse all these years and could one be relieved when someone fell in love with me. I am now cured of the curse because you truly love me. And then, Beauty and the Beast were married and together they have lived happily ever after. So that's all my story about the Beauty and the Beast. Um, thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.